Greetings and welcome to Armored Core Reforged, the series where I take the preset ACs of the game and optimize them to the best of my abilities, preferably making them viable in PvP. The process will consist of me going over the original build, then I will go over the upgraded version and all the thought behind it. And then finally, me and a volunteer will do a final PvP test to see which version of the build is indeed superior. As well as after this video goes up, I will be making a community post where you guys can vote as to which preset will be the next featured on Reforged. But all is said, you have yourself a very good one, and enjoy. Greetings and welcome back to Reforged. Last episode, we took a look at Rokumasen's Shinobi AC. And in that video, like usual, I asked y'all to give the Reforged variant a new name. And I think the best of the bunch is Haturi, named after the famous Shinobi in Japanese history. Just thank you all very much for the fine names, indubitably. I'm excited to see what names y'all come up with for our boy Flatwell. As well as I do want to say before we begin, if the channel reaches 3,000 subs, we're going to be doing a Reforge week, similar to the Requiem week we just finished. But all said, let's get into the build. Alrighty, and the Tsubasa AC is a lightweight kite with a bazooka punish. For our primary weapons, we have the Burst Machine Gun Estrogen, which is a very fine weapon for close range, constant high stagger buildup. However, it's really only good at close range, more of a medium range. Outside of its 130, it will start to dip in uh, quality as it will ricochet more often, as well as the bull velocity won't be able to keep up with the target. So overall, very solid weapon for its category of closer ranges. It can be used at a more medium range, but it is indeed better for close range. You're better off using other weapons for the more medium range that is demanded by the uh, type of build that we're rocking with. And then next up, we have the Burst Rifle Rinsetsu RF, which in my opinion is the best medium range slash kiting uh, kinetic weapon in the game. It has good damage, good impact, really good direct hit damage, as well as its recoil is really low and its fire rate is also decently low, meaning you can run arms like Basho without losing any accuracy. And of course has a nice effective range of 321 meters. For sure the weapons, we have the Bazooka Little Gem, which is very much the lightest and weakest of all the bazookas. Uh, yeah, it's just that really it doesn't do too much damage not a whole lot of direct hit decent amount of impact it's just kind of the uh, pocket bazooka indubitably if you're trying to be very light and you want to still have a bazooka this is the one you go for and although interestingly enough it has the slowest reload time of 4.4 seconds versus the other uh, bazookas with uh, a little bit less pairing that as well as when it's on our back and reloading uh when weapons are on your back uh the weapon bay weapons anyway of course they uh, reload a lot slower than if they're in your primary so overall little jam kind of poo poo and then lastly we have the balem four cell again very much a budget type missile launcher super good for closer ranges ultimately can be used at all ranges but closer is where it really thrives but uh, yeah, only shoots out four missiles, but is incredibly light and all that good stuff. Fast reload as a whale. All right, for frame parts, we just have the full firm set. And with this current assortment, we have 8,400 AP, 1,000 defenses, 1,500 stability, and 360 boost speed. With a quick boost of 350. So overall, very squishy, although quite evasive. For inner parts, for boosters, we have the grid walkers, which their specialty is very much upwards thrust, that being maxed. So this uh, build will definitely go up into the sky, rocking like 400 boost speed while ascending to the heavens. However, the other stats are definitely looking a little worse for wear. For FCS, we have the PO5, which has max medium range assist. Very nice for a kiting build. And for generator, the Yaba, one of the earliest gens. Very light, decent capacity, decent recharge, similar to the Akushi and the 20C. But uh, yeah, still uh, not the greatest. And then lastly for expansion, we have Pulse Protection, the PP, which is very much the worst expansion in the game, although it is usable as long as you play around your bubble of protection where you can shoot through it, they can't. Uh, it can uh, be of some use. The others are just way better. All right, for playstyle, get in your effective range, fire the missiles whenever, pretty much spray and pray as much as you can, either proc stagger, then go for the bazooka, or fire out of the bazooka whenever to just get down. More stagger buildup so you're close to direct hit and get some nice Rensetsu RF hits. Make sure you're using that uh, fucking fast uh, upwards thrust speed to ascend to the heavens indubitably. Even if you need to touch the ground to get stamina, you can immediately get right back up. And because we're so fast, we don't burn all that energy getting up here. That uh, speed is naughty. And of course, rely on the PP for protection. You just shoot all around it. Best to play more or less outside of it as if you're creating cover that you can shoot through, but the enemy cannot. Go inside of it, outside of it, all that good stuff. But yes, this is the original AC. Let's take it into the forge. And here we are, reforged. 
For primary weapons, just doubling up on the Rensetsu RFs, as we're going to be in our effective range of medium range anyway, so we might as well get the best weapons for it. For sure, the mounts upgraded the little gem to the Majestic Bazooka, as it's going to reload faster and do a whole lot more damage. I would be using the Javelin Alpha, but we are uh, overburdened, and I would be using this instead because it has a high direct hit adjustment, making it a super good stagger punish indubitably. And then lastly, I ended up changing out the Force Cell for the Javelin Beta, which of course has excellent tracking in that it pulls off the Master Flank, dealing high amounts of stagger when it detonates over the enemy, very effective at a more medium range, which is of course the range we're going to be at, so overall it's a very good kiting weapon indubitably. For frame parts, going the 44D Head, the Alpha Core, Bastio Arms, and Alpha Legs. With this current assortment, we have 10,000 AP, 1,100 defenses, 1,600 stability, and 370 boost speed. For inner parts, for boosters, we have the SPD, which it specializes in natural thrust, allowing us to move around at very high speeds, as well as it has a nice quick boost reload, as well as assault boost and Ian consumption, allowing us to play very evasive indubitably. For FCS, keeping the PO5 and changing the generator to VP20C. As the VP20C is incredibly light, allowing us to reach high speeds near 370, and has very nice capacity and very nice E and recharge. And then lastly, for expansion, Pulse Armor. I'm for Playstyle, exactly like last time, getting your effective range, fire the missile whenever, as well as your bazooka in or outside of stagger. Best to save for a stagger punish if it's available, but of course, if it's a beefier target, indeed use the bazooka whenever to get that damage and or impact build up. But yes, this is reforged. And while this is the normal upgraded variant where I have access to the entire garage, we should now be taking a look at the lower accurate upgraded version. And where my access to parts are limited to the access of the character as well as his uh, affiliation in his organization, that being the RLF. So, let's begin. Alright, for the lower accurate version, we can't be using the VP44D head as it is connected to the Archibus Corp, therefore we do not have justified uh, access to it indubitably. So we're using our Balaam connection to pull out the Melander C3 head as it will be the best alternative. As well as we're going to be switching the legs over to Alpha, not that we don't have access to the Alpha, but we literally can't run it because we're overburdened as we had to change our generator. Speaking of, we change our generator to the Hakushi. As similar to the head, we don't have access to the 20C. But outside of those few changes, this is indeed the lore accurate reforged. So now me and my buddy Shadow will be doing the PvP test. I'll be bringing this build in the PvP test as if the lore accurate version can win, then the normal reforged can most definitely. So without further ado, enjoy the fight. I mean, if you use a javelin, you're gonna get as much damage as you'd get off well, of yeah, melee but like, punch. Are, are the javelins, so like, comparatively, other damage to other stuff? It's just not a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Oh, it's wow. like, what, 2,000? Staggered? Could be. That's not too shabby. Too, too shabby. Yeah, but then I can move. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, dude, get that proxy dead, dude. Oh, it's rocket. I didn't, even look at what, I didn't even look at what expansion I have. I have no idea I think what Pulse, expansion I have. Some of that. that might be a Probably GPD. Pulse, but I'm again, I have no sure. idea. That should have hit me. <laughs> nah, dude. I must be in a little bit. I only saw it hit me and it did nothing. <laughs> we love these things. These things good. Oh, God, he has a little bit of lag, but it's fine. The trades. Ow. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of delay. That's why I've been right there. It's funny to get me killed. Bombers. That blew up. Okay. Sometimes it blows up instantly, and sometimes it's, really, it's like delayed. It's really weird. Yeah. The trades. I should not have done that. That was bad timing. Honestly, it's nothing you did about. Couldn't have done about that. We just shot at the exact same time. What the fuck? FCS do I have in this? Because I feel like I'm hitting my console. I console. think he has. I think PO5. I think he's a goat in the sauce for that, but he still has SGM, which is like a weird FCS to have. Okay. Alright, good, uh, weird SCS to have with a weapon like that. Ow. Buddha. Lightweight life. Lightweight life. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not doing, like, any stagger. He's gonna have one gun pretty much at that range, it's gonna be doing anything. It's unfortunate. Like, I like the versatility of having multiple weapons in different, uh, areas of expertise, but... I have Paul you have PP? Paul protection, are you kidding me? We love me? PP. We love PP. I'm not trapped here with you. You're trapped here with me. Get away from me. We love the PP. Yeah, I was I was doing ass stag. I think I got staggered even once. <laughs> yeah, I know, barely, almost. But yeah, no, like yeah, just one weapon in your effective range of your FCS is just like why, man. 
It's not enough, man. Yeah. It's not enough. All right, and that is it for this episode of Reforged. Big thanks to my buddy Shattered for helping me out with the PvP test. Links to Shattered's art projects and social medias in the description below. And of course, thank you all for watching. If y'all have a cool new name for this Reforged AC, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And again, if the channel reaches 3,000 subs, we'll be doing a Reforged week, and we do an episode of Reforged every day for a week. But yes, all is said, y'all have yourself a very good one, and peace.